I wish that I Hey, this is Rob Nazarian with Talk Android, and we're here with the Wireless Power Consortium and uh, at CES 2004. And uh, I have John here to tell us about some things. Uh, WPS is pushing Qi, which seems to be, to me, the big standard out there. Uh, but however, there are some other things out there that are slowing things down. But we just want to show you some new things that are going on, like more for the automobile here. And John's going to tell us about it. Right. So, good to meet you, and thanks for the opportunity to talk about this. Um, wireless charging in general is enabling a lot of new services and a lot of new technologies. And so the idea with this uh, demonstration platform is, uh, the idea is that you put your phone down, whatever phone you have, it's, okay. it's Qi enabled. This is, this is a Nokia phone and it's Windows based, but that's okay, this will work with Android. Yeah, so you set it down, it starts charging, and it also, uh, the system, this system allows you to, to basically extend the car as, a, as an extension of your cell phone. So you can put your music, your maps, your favorites, your locations, your phone calls, all now come in through your car display. And so you can drive safely, listen to music safely, shuffle music safely, do whatever you want to do, but not run your phone dead. Exactly. They work independently, one's via Bluetooth, one's via the charger, but if you're going to do all those things, you definitely need a charge. You better be charging all the time. Yeah. And that makes things easy, just laying it right down. Yeah. So it's designed into cars now. So this is the Jeep Cherokee uh, system. It uh, has it in the armrest, 2013, 2014 models. And you can resize this? Yeah, so this size is for, for whatever phone you have. Keeps it nice and safe. Here's a, a, an Avalon charger. Uh, this is designed into the uh, 2014 Avalon and the 2014 and the 2013, I think, Prius. Uh, so this will charge your phone just setting there. Um, and that's the world's first avi uh, aviation charger, by the way. Uh, oh. uses Qi, of course. Uh, the automobile and the uh, aviation industries are, are kind of conservative. They're pretty cautious about what goes in their equipment. They want to make sure it's going to be compatible with phones in 10 years, mm -hmm. and they want to make sure that it's safe. And so that's why they're choosing Qi. The, the, uh, the German auto consortium, CE4A, after a three-year study, chose Qi for their phones, for their cars. Well, it seems like Qi really is the thing that's taking off right now, and it if everybody would just jump on board, we can really uh, move forward, uh, wouldn't that's you think? Right. I would say that's exactly right. <laughs> if we all get to the same standard, uh, then you don't have to have home chargers, you're just charging wherever you need a charger, in your car, on a train, in a plane, in a hotel, in a coffee shop, wherever you want to be to charge. If you use Qi, it's going to happen. The people, all these people here, they want it, we just got to make it happen. Let's, let's, sit, let's tell Apple, let's tell everybody. Yeah, you got to make it, John. <laughs> We're going to do it. We'll make that happen. All right, well, thanks a lot. My pleasure.